Okay, so the Eve is the flesh and bone, and the Adam is the the sperm, the the brain, and the and the spine. That's the sperm. The tissue, the flesh and bone, that's the female. I can keep going over this over and over again, but it's it's needed so we understand that blood is the sacrifice, and where you pull your blood at has everything to do with your manifestation and what you manifest. And as we are totally into the sympathetic nervous system as males and we're giving into the ideals of people before us or whatever, however you want to call that, we're constantly sacrificing and giving the blood to the tissue and the sex organs so we don't even operate from a place. It's it's so, it's so, we're so unconscious in our behaviors because of a you know it's a multitude of reasons but has so much to do with just with the fact that we don't have the blood in our brains and the blood is in our tissues and sex organs so we are constantly sacrificing to the feminine constantly giving in to that it's it will be peace on earth the moment that males value their seed of creation and reserve more blood for their brain than their sex organs and tissue. So that's the bottom line. That is where the control, that's the problem right there, where people have lost control of themselves, self-mastery in that sense, doing, not doing. When we talk about children, we call them pride, pride and joy. It's because it is, people have children because it is, it gives credence to this illusion of control that you have some power of creation. All children are is in alignment with an energy. So you are not, you're not, you are in alignment. The stars are aligning. You don't own anyone. You're not, you have no dominion over anyone. You put yourself in a position to where you now need this experience to evolve if you're in it. So it's a process of, of evolution. It's not, something with dominion or anything like that it's not a process of expectation or you know you're 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 supposed to uh, just like the universe creates and and doesn't have to speak for itself it doesn't have to speak it lets its creation speak you know you should take a note from that in a sense as far as when you channel something it's just alignment so what we have is we have people sacrificing to the ideals that we have for ourselves that we project onto our, our fragmented selves because that's pride. We're having our pride. Even, even, they even call the, the cubs of a lion the pride. That's the pride. So having, having children is, is pride. That's why it's your pride and joy. You're, you're exhibiting beastly will. You're, you're, every time we sacrifice to the feminine, the feminine is here. The 3D is is the Eve. The 3D is the Eve. That is the feminine realm where the, the females dominate. That, there's so many ways we can explain this. We got a queen of England. We got a queen of the Netherlands. Netherlands, if you know what netter means. We got um, so many different things, so many reasons why they're using the military is using the female energy. Homosexuals in the military. All these things, the, the female energy is dominant in the 3D. It's the Eve. It's where this is the place where the fem, the feminine is, you know, and we can look at queens as far as homosexual males that we call queens. Like it's, that is all because the imbalance in the blood, having more blood in the tissue than in the organs. And if we did that, there, we would, we would no longer have a, a battle of the sexes if the organs were nourished with the, with the light because the blood is the light. So the blood is the blood is more in the sympathetic nervous system than in the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is more, is in fight or flight constant it's going that will burn out that's not sustainable to stay in sympathetic nervous system but you see it all the time the males have been turned into human wallets and sperm donors and it's been it's at a point where the male has been his uh, he's been eroded so much that he's no longer even physically there or if he is he's not emotionally there and it has everything to do with the addiction that the female has has now 
absorbed because now the male, if he's given that less energy off and she accepts that corrosive energy that destroys everything because the if you look at porn, the money shot, <laughs> the value is in the seed. They wouldn't, porn would not be successful if they showed Tantra. It would d- destroy the world in, in that sense, destroy the world in the best way because it would show the, you know, the power of, uh, of charging the male and, and female. And then it just reminds you of the male and female within you. And then you carry that oneness within you and you don't have to go external. It's not like you were born and a bunch of other bodies was born with you and you all identify the same. Like, no, you, you're, this is the body that you're in. Like this, this is it. Like, you know, I understand people saying oneness and all that type of stuff. But as far as like the chariot that you're taking care of, the body you're taking care of, like that is the body that that's the 3D body that if you let it just stay in the now and you understand like that it's a solo path, that the body itself is the path and the chariot and that company is for comfort and that the only true company you have is is the oneness or the void or God or whatever you want to call it, then then you can have selfless experience. But as long as, and you can, and you can have, you can have children that don't, that aren't used to the dominion like that, that females have over the male energy. It's like we've constantly given it to the point where they become addicted to it, to where they don't even realize how much it fuels them. You know, like, you, one female doesn't even know how many guys might masturbate to them or whatever. Like, but that, you know, a lot of that has to do with the way they put themselves out there to, to, to be visible because the more you're seen, the less you see. And the way they are seen, of course, the way they allow themselves to be seen, what they show. And then the male himself, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the give and take there where they're accepting something by putting themselves out there and the male's giving something. So he's accepting something. He's accepting them having dominion. That's the giveth and the taketh there because males are just so used to alleviating themselves of the responsibility, energy's responsibility. So if you just give up the seed to her, then of course it's, it's her world. You know what I mean? Of course, of course, you know, women succubus run the world or entities that take female form and just extract the seeds of creation for the world and sell us all up the river. Yeah. You know, it's, that's, that's what's taking place because the guy was raised by his mom who had dominion over his dad. Cause she has contempt for him because he, he's not sacrificing himself at some ideal rate. This is the reality because she's used to a certain state of energy that she gets from these bags of blood around her. So then she can threaten people with the bags of blood because these dudes are just giving up the energy. So then she becomes addicted to the energy and the dudes get addicted to low energy because the low energy, it means I don't have responsibility and she can do that. And I can just focus on, you know, uh, menial things and, and and being a cog instead of being a whole part. You know, when, when, when you're a whole part, it's a totally different ball game. The being a whole part is you're in a 3d. I'm going to fully do today. I'm going to yield to today and, and, and see what, I'm showing myself because the 3D me is is a placeholder. And I know there's a part of me that can see hot past the horizon of 3D. So because I can see past the horizon of 2D. So I control my avatar. I can see further than my avatar. My digital avatar is the 2D. And the, the straw man is the 2D. I can see further than that. So I know I have faith in knowing that there's something that can see the part of me that sees further than me. I just have to be whole in this moment. And the only way to do that is to unify within the marriage within marriage means mirror image you see if a, a, a twin flame or whatever you want to call it and it just reminds you of the unity that you have to create within and then you have oneness with all people and then you don't sacrifice for this supposed personal family your pride at the expense of the overall family or tether of humanity or life itself family itself the word means household servants. That's what it means. 
and we even grained it into our lives to the point where family is a good thing. 